Welcome again, everyone. Jerry's Old Guy Review and the beginning of a new segment. Not a crawler. I have been reawakened. Oh, hello. For everyone who didn't meet our newest family member, this is Yowie. He is a pain in the ass. He loves everything RC. What are you doing? Yowie, say hi to everyone. Are you going to be shy? What do we got there? One of those RC trucks you like so much. Yowie, for anyone who doesn't know, is a Siberian Husky. Very lovable for the state of Alaska. My wife knew I always wanted one. He is a pain. You are going to hear him. From this day on, in the background at some point, because he's very opinionated. <clears throat> but let's get back to the new segment, Not a Crawler. I have two additions to this new, freaking mosquitoes, to this new segment. I'm not going to talk about the other one, but I have been reawakened to the basher. Now, the first vehicle, freaking mosquitoes, the first vehicle I would consider that I really did just see what it could do was the original Traxxas Emax. 2001, dual batteries, dual motors, impressive for its day. Now, this, because all of you have been telling me, Arma, Arma, Arma. Well, a few months ago, the notorious 6S BLX was on sale at A-Main. So I snatched one up. I said, you guys have told me, Arma is great, let me give it a try. Well, I'm going to tell you, not being a big basher guy, not wanting to just make a fool of myself, I have had this out many times. I actually got this when we still had some snow on the ground. And I was launching it off of snowbanks, some intentional, some not intentional. The mere size and speed of this, I have to kind of tweak my filming style. So, I just wanted to bring this up to show you guys and tell you something about it. So they're basically around 500 bucks. So all metal gears. This thing does 55 miles an hour out of the box. And I had to do it with my GPS. I don't have a fancy GPS, I'm old school. Where is that sucker? Right here. I have a Garmin E-Tech 20, which I use for property lines and some navigation. But the biggest thing is it has a top speed feature. So everybody said this thing does 55 miles an hour. I'm gonna tell you that I've made a lot of fast vehicles the only thing I've ever built that went 55 miles an hour was a jet ski. This is a whole level of excitement that I didn't think I still had or maybe ever had. This thing's got this roll bar. It's got metal screws in it so it can make sparks if you flip it. You know, that was a great idea, but meanwhile, it didn't do too well for the fin 
that I have to trim off the plastic because this thing is so fast and it has so much torque, it just wants to do wheelies. You have to really kind of finesse yourself if you're not a pure just, oh, I'm going to stand around and laugh and just flip it over on its roof all the time. So before we get into more of this, let's just go over the features. For those of you that may have had, I guess it doesn't specify that this is a second generation or the new style, but the box lists everything. So being that Arma is so big on, you know, being don't just bash, blast. So they say they strengthened it. We're gonna, I love the old school generic body with braces in it just for, you know, look at this, stickers on it so you don't scuff the body up right away. But this body is called real steel, so if you scuff it, it shows through. I mean, it just looks like silver paint, but whatever. Um, so it's got a metal belly pan. Oh my God, look at the mess. Metal belly pan, which, oh, look at this mess here, which, according to the information I've collected, is newer, thicker, and stronger. They design it for work. So, if I want to service the front and rear diffs, you know, very few screws allow me access. You've got... This cover, you take it off. Metal, it's got a metal brace. It's got the drive shafts are huge. So, more ease, they call it. Um, oh, the center dip and motor is where, not the front diffs. Um, better access to maintenance where the motor just comes out with this whole assembly so you can get to that diff. Because from what I'm understanding with a lot of these bashers is the center diff. You know, different weights of oil, more performance. Um, what else does it talk about? It ha now has a larger volume waterproof receiver box. It's got enhanced electronics. It's got new style. It's all spectrum. Um, what is it? A, an S652 digital servo you know it's got the the extra like a BEC kind of deal for the electronics because they're digital they're all metal of course it's got the SLT spectrum system in it um, supposedly these the shock and body mounts are all metal um, these are supposedly smaller than the older ones, so the, what do they call that? Um, oh, it, I guess it's the rear shock tower. It doesn't say the front shock tower. But the rear one, it's got better geometry, they call it, for adjustments. I mean, look at these. If you can see those shocks are ginormous. Oh, what else do we got on here? The front plate is stronger. I guess they must have been breaking them along with all the front suspension. The A-arms have all been redone. They're attached to everything with metal. Oh, what else do we have? We have got, yep, just the metal I've shown you, but all metal gears. They're, they're calling the servo pinion, which... You know, they call it a safety pinion, and it attaches to a Spectrum Firma uh, 4074, a 2050 kV motor. But, ah, the one thing I don't understand, now it's got pretty good coverage, you know, with this body, because the tires stick out. There's still a ton of crap on the inside. And... The pinion gear, the spur gear, they're exposed. 
I don't really care for that. But as big and beefy as they are, maybe they're just going to eat anything that gets in the way. You've got the big standard. I'm sure those are, what, 19 millimeter, I think, hex heads for the screws. Let me see here. Yeah. So I'm looking at everything in here. The You can see how dirty it is. I have, I didn't think I could have this much fun with a vehicle. I mean, it's big. It's 1.8 scale. I mean, yeah, it could have been a little bigger for 1.8 scale, but I like big. You've got a wheelie bar, which of all the vehicles I've ever seen that have wheelie bars, this is one that really needs it. Now, I got it, and it all had black wheels on it. So I just got the old Sharpie out, you know, the silver Sharpie we all talk about. And I just Sharpie these wheels which are like pentagrams, it's like the devil's truck. And I just did the nuts, just a little bit different. But meanwhile, yeah, you've got front shields, that doesn't keep anything from getting in. But, I mean, look at the size of that motor. And, right, the Spectrum, what is that Spectrum receiver? It is a Spectrum Firma 150 amp smart brushless ECS with a fan on it. This is another thing, a fan with all of this crap flying around. But it works. And of course, I didn't want to cut my Firmas off, so went over to Arctic Wings RC and got me some adapters. Now here's the thing. Now I've seen a lot of battery setups. This is a dual battery setup. You've got a top strap and you have a side strap. When you strap this set of batteries in, they're not going anywhere. Which is proof that this thing, I'm going to tell you, I didn't put anything about language on here, but what a dick I had. I was out testing this at my work was showing some of the crew that was out there getting ready to leave for the day. We were having a hoot nanny. I have a big open field next to my, my shop, so I'm out there rallying. I got a lot of ground showing. There's still some snow. There is probably a berm about, there was probably a snow berm about five feet high. So there's an open field and then there's a big parking lot. So, for some reason, I'm having a, a rally fest. You know, I've got two speed bumps on my big paved area behind my dirt. Some dick with a friggin' 2005, I would say, Toyota Corolla. Eh, you know, I don't like ragging on Toyotas. But you know what? In a parking lot, Toyota Corolla can't come close to this truck. I hit the gas. He went rallying across like he was going to run my truck over. Which wouldn't have worked out good for him with the crew we had sitting there. But I whipped this thing around and took off on him. He couldn't keep up. Hit that six foot berm. And this thing went flying through the air and landed like it had been doing that its whole life. So, me being me. I kept launching that sucker. This thing landed perfect almost probably 70% of the time. The other 30%, ugh. I think anything I've ever owned would have came home missing a wheel. But here we go, it's a basher. I'm not jumping in on pavement, I was jumping in on dirt. And when it landed, it took some of the worst rolls and bounces and the feel I was whipping it through. Had God knows what was in it. It hit something that it cartwheeled about 50 times. Nothing. Nothing broke. All this jumping. I have driven this truck now four times. And completely, I should have timed it. 
completely ran through the dual batteries four times. Nothing. The bottom's all scratched. It's full of mud and dirt and from puddles. Drove it straight through a puddle, didn't mean to. None of the water got inside of here. There's this mud and stuff got in here, but nothing. So I'm going to tell you, once I figure out, oh, and I'm looking at the bottom, and because it was on dirt most of the time, the, the ass end is, back here has got some good dings and scratches. But the mid-body, supported by the tires, I mean, it's beautiful. Countersunk hardware everywhere. You know, I ha haven't done a long term on it, but so far, four battery packs mixed over quite a few days. Looks sweet. Looks mean. You know what? Not often do I say just run out and buy something, but if you want to have a level of fun you have been missing and you didn't even know about it. The, the Arma Notorious 6S BLX. This is 500 bucks well spent. So, for the first entry into not a crawler, the Notorious 6X BLX, and once I get, I, I've done a couple videos for this, and they just don't, they don't do it any justice. So, I'm still working on a good recording motif for it, but for right now, you've seen it. You know I've been running it. I'm going to come up with a technique. We're going to get this thing, even if it's a crappy video. You know what? Screw it. But it is so fast and so fun. The last video I did, when I was actually thinking of being serious, being strict to it, nope. The fun took over, and half the video is pointing in the wrong direction because I was either talking to somebody or... I just didn't even know I was filming anymore. Addicting, terrific fun. What are you doing, you little monster? So, first entry, second entry is something I haven't done RC-wise in over 20 years. So stay tuned for that video, and I will talk to you guys later.